Hey all, Brenton here with RevitFamily.biz, and in this video, I'm going to go over a little bit uh, on how to change or adjust the graphics settings and options uh, for our cabinets in Plan View and in Elevation View. Uh, because it's not good enough that our cabinets uh, are super parametric and look great in 3D and in renderings, we also need them to look good in our documents. And so they need to display however you want them to display in elevation and in plan view. So let's jump into plan view really quick. So up here, what we have is a typical plan. And by default, this is how they will look. The uppers will look dotted. The base cabinets will disappear be uh, underneath the countertop. And then the tall cabinets will show as solid white boxes. So if you want to adjust these, we have a couple options. I've gotten over the years uh, a lot of feedback on this. And so some of the things we've done um, is to make the base cabinets visible. So if we click on the base cabinet, there is a parameter called show cabinet outline. If we click that, you'll see the base cabinet now comes through as a dotted line. And you can do that on all the cabinets that you feel are appropriate. And then on top of that, I received the feedback in the last round of comments that that was not good enough either. Uh, sometimes if there are doors in the cabinets, it's useful to be able to see the door swings. So in this latest revision of the cabinets, I have now added in the opportunity to put to or to show in plan the door swings. So here in these base cabinets, there are doors so we can show their swings. Up here in the upper cabinet, if I can grab it, it also has a door so we can show it in plan. And we can also do it on the tall cabinets. So there are your doors. And on top of that, you can change the swing. So if you want it to be a 90 degree, it can be 90 degrees. If you want it to be 30 degrees, it can be 30 degrees. So those can all be changed however you would like to see them in plan. The other thing that comes through in plan is if there is a cabinet with an appliance nested into it already, you can turn on the label. So if you click on here, here for instance we have a microwave an oven, and a double oven. So we would like to see that in plan. So we click on it and over here it says show appliance label. So if we click that, it now labels the appliance. So all of, uh, let's see, all of the tall cabinets with ovens or microwaves in them do this, and then the base cabinet with a microwave in it will also do this. So that is how you would make adjustments in floor plan. Now let's talk a little bit about elevation. So by default, this is what you get in the elevations. Anytime there's a door, you see correctly the door swing symbol. If you don't like the door swing symbol to show up, you can easily shut it off by going over to the side. It says show door swing symbol elevation. Just uncheck that box and it will go away. Um, I know I've received some feedback that some people don't like to show the door symbols, door swing symbols. And then I also received the feedback that in other countries, um, the door swing symbol is flipped. So this is in the United States, this is the correct way to show how it's swinging. In other countries, this would be incorrect. It's just the opposite. So in the United States, the hinge side is the point and the pull side is the open end of the arrow. Uh, so if you'd like it to be opposite, all you have to do is click the family and then it says show door swing symbol flipped. Just check that box and it'll flip it so that it, if your country uses an opposite symbol, so the open end of the arrow is the hinge side and the point is the pull side. Um, you can set the cabinets to follow those conventions. Okay, so the next thing uh, about elevation is tagging. So by, by default, Revit probably comes with its own casework tag and you may already have your own casework tag for your company standards. Uh, but in case you don't, or in case you want something a little more intelligent, uh, for instance, not all tags read the dimensions properly. I worked at a pretty good architectural firm, and their casework tags 
did not actually read the dimensions of the cabinets. They read the name of the cabinet. So if we changed the size of the cabinet but forgot to rename the cabinet, the tag would display the wrong information. So I've created what I call a smart tag that reads the actual dimensions of the cabinet. So if you change the size of the cabinet, the tag will also change. So that is in, that came with the download. And if you look at that, let me hurry and navigate over there. Um, here's the casework tag, the .rfa file. So you'll load that in. And then it comes with an Excel file that gives you a translation of what the different abbreviations mean. So let me just, let's tag it and I'll show you what's going on. So if we hit the tag button, we'll tag these uppers, I'll just tag some lowers. And you can see what it's doing is it's giving the dimension in width, height, depth of each of these cabinets. That's what's on top. So this cabinet is 48 wide, 36 tall, and 26 deep. And then these are 30 wide, 36 tall, and 24 inches deep. <clears throat> Same with the uppers. You can see it's 15, 12, 12. And that is intelligent. So if I change the width here, let's hurry and change it to two feet. Changes the cabinet, but it also changes the tag which is something that even at the firms I've worked for, they no one ever spent the time to make the tags do this. And I think it was confusing to them because it takes a little bit of knowledge on the family end to understand how to get rid of the feet and inches marks, uh, which a lot of people don't know how to do. So I think no one in our firm ever uh, tried to make that work. Anyways, so that comes shipped with it and then Underneath the dimensions are abbreviations. So there's always a one letter abbreviation and then followed by two letter abbreviations to describe the cabinet. So in this case, W stands for wall cabinet and then D, DV stands for drawer, uh, door vertical. So a vertical door that opens, swings up. Down here, we've got a base cabinet with drawers that's a cooktop. That's what the DR and the CT stand for. So let me just show you the casework tag translations. So here, just to make it easy to see what I'm talking about, width, height, depth. So here's the tag. This is what it's describing. And then down on the bottom, here's the one character identifiers that could be in this first spot. So a base cabinet, a floating base cabinet, tall cabinet, or a wall cabinet. And then here are the two character abbreviations. And again, this is all in the Excel spreadsheet that comes with your file. It's also in the example file. If you just click on the sheet that says casework tag, you can see the same exact um, explanation that I've got here. All right, guys. So that is how to control how the cabinets look in plan and elevation. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment. Uh, I'm happy to hear and respond to you guys. Thanks for checking out our families, and I'll catch you in the next video.